Ciao everybody, it's Matt Watson here from CarWow. Gone all Italian today because we've got a Lamborghini drag race. So I'm sat in a Norris. Next to me is an Aventador. Next to that is a Huracan. We've got all of Lamborghini's cars here. V8, V12 and a V10. So let me tell you about this car. It has a four litre twin turbo V8 with 650 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque. Obviously it's four wheel drive. It's got an eight speed automatic gearbox with a torque converter on it, but it does have launch control. It's heavy though this. It's 2,200 kilos. Price-wise, it's the cheapest car here. It's 160,000 pounds. Whoever said the cheapest car is 160,000 pounds? That Lamborghini Aventador is a lot more expensive. Let's speak to its owner. It's Yanni from Yanni Mize. Hello, Yanni, how are you doing? Hi, Matt. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I think I'm not gonna win this drag race at all. I'm just basically making up the numbers. Your car has a good chance of winning, doesn't it? What is it exactly? It is my Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster. So tell me about it. No. This is your job, you tell me about it. You see, Yanni doesn't actually know anything about his cars really, apart from maybe the price. So that has a 6.5 litre, naturally aspirated V12. It's got 750 horsepower and 690 newton metres of torque. It weighs in at 1,575 kilos. It's got a seven speed robotized manual gearbox with a single clutch. So when it launches, it's pretty blooming brutal. It's expensive, that thing, 350,000 pounds. Now, the Huracan isn't just any Huracan, that's a Performante. Now that has a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10. It's got 650, 40 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. It's also got a seven speed automatic gearbox, but that has dual clutches, really good launch control system in that car. It's pretty light as well, really. It's 1,382 kilos. Four wheel drive as well, just like the Aventador. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens, how these different Lamborghinis perform. Before we get into that, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. If you wanna follow Yanni, it's Yanni Mize's channel. The link is in the description below. If you wanna follow the guy who owns that performante, does loads of social content on that car. His name's Kane Hennessy and the link to his Instagram account is below. Also, why not follow me on Instagram? Matt Watson Cars. Shall we get on with this race then, people? See how these different Lamborghinis perform. Let's do it. All right, guys, before we race, let's do the obligatory sound check. I'm going to rev up this turbocharged V8 and see what it sounds like. It's making some pops and bangs on the outside. But inside, that noise is fake. It's been played through the speakers. Really Lamborghini. Though, to be fair, it's an Audi RS Q8, just with a bit more horsepower. Listen to the glorious V12 of that Aventador. She's a beauty. Very nice, very nice. But does the V10 of the Performante sound better? Go on, Kane, let's have a listen. <laughs> That's nice. Hey, what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now, before we actually get on with the race, which do you think is going to win? The Urus, the Aventador, or the Huracan? My money is actually on the Huracan, but we'll see in a moment. Let's get on with it and find out. Is that manual mode? Let's do it in drive. You're so not a Lambo person, are you, Matt? This is the first time I've driven an Urus, and I don't know what I'm doing. Yanni, do you want to pop over there and show him how to drive it, mate? I think I've got it. I think I'm good. Kane's got a bit of chat about him. I wonder how he can drive and how he launches. I've just YouTubed how to drag race, so I'm good. <laughs> Kane, if you come to Car Wow and you talk a good game, do not flop your start, mate. No pressure. Under pressure. <laughs> Yay, fluff the start. <laughs> I told ya, I knew Kay wouldn't pull it off. Come on, baby. <laughs> this is close. No, the hurricane's coming past me. Come on, Horus. Oh, it's gaining on me. I'm through. Kane, I told you, don't give it the big talk if you don't know when the hands go down, mate. What happened? You did a crap launch. Do you know what, though? 
What was really interesting, I saw him come past me. He was closing you down, Yanni. I'm going to have to give him another go. To launch his car, because I reckon he may well take you. Matt, you ready for this? He got caned. <laughs> he did get caned. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Loved it again. Oh, this stuttered off the line. Yes! He's going now, though. Come on, come on. He ain't gonna catch Yanni, though. Nah. And he got caned again. Can Kane launch it properly this time? Find out in the next episode of Carwide Drag Races. That was a good start. Come on! Kane nailed it. So did Yandy, this is going to be close between the two of them. Come on! Oh, he's quick on look at that. Kane's doing him. I don't care that I came last. I'm just happy that Yanni didn't win. Reaction time was quick car, but you got a quicker car. Yanni, his launch wasn't quite as good as yours. What happened? I was too far behind. Did he beat you? Yeah, he come past me, to be fair. We know it's a quicker car than mine. 2-1 in my book. So then what exactly happened? Well, after a decent launch, the Huracan did the standing quarter mile in 10.7 seconds. The Aventador took 10.8 seconds and the Urus crossed the line in 11.5 seconds, which is pretty impressive considering it's a huge practical SUV, not a focused supercar like the other two. All right, now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour with the cars in drive. Here we go. Three, two, one, floor it. This, what was this doing? Hello, darkness, my old friend. That was crap. Well, I'm out of this. That's enough. Kane, what happened? You seem to do pretty well there. Yeah, it went pretty well. Was you in this race, Matt? Well, I floored the throttle and this car just kind of went into almost neutral. And then it figured out what gear it wanted to be in. And by the time it had done that, Kane was almost back in London. You were somewhere near Northampton, Yanni, and I'm still here up in Rutland. Okay, now we're gonna take the gearboxes out of the equation. I'm gonna count it in. Three, two, one, go. Oh, bit of turbo lag. I've come to talk with you again. So close between those two cars, but I think that Performante is ahead. I'm not in this. I'm bailing. That's enough, guys. It ain't changing. It is what it is. That Performante is well fast. She's pretty and she's fast, for sure. Pretty even in violet? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. Reaction time. Don't cheat it, Kane. Here we go. It's light. Full emergency stop, Kane. That was not a full emergency stop. You were like behind Yanni and he like cruised past him. I thought you were going to go past me as well. Do you know what? I'm not going to give him another go. We'll be here all day otherwise. It's two wins to the Performante, one win to the SV, and no wins to the Aurus. If you all enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Also, let me know in the comments below which of these three Lamborghinis you'd rather own. As ever, make sure you're following this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on if you haven't done so already. And why not check out our new merchandise in the carousel below the video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Not used to handling a bull, are you? Should we get you like a little kitten? I'm used to handling all your bull.
my ball, not my balls. <laughs> Let's make that clear. Oh, I don't know, Yanni, sometimes. 